what's a better way to spend a rainy Sunday than road tripping to a bookstore, honestly. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we're doing something a little bit different because uh, I'm filming this uh, Sunday night and in Sunday morning uh, I, I decided to kind of spur the moment. You know what would be fun to do today is take a little road trip and go to Silverstone's Books in Plattsmouth, Nebraska, which is only a couple hours from where I live and they recently have opened up a brick and mortar location and uh, I was just really excited too and I'm like, that does sound kind of fun and then my wife was on board so I'm like, all right, let's go. Uh, and so we, we took a trip uh, down to, uh, to, well, not really down, but over uh, to Silverstone's Books to, to see all the stuff and uh, get to meet Kevin, which was really fun. Uh, they do have, it is specifically it specializes in sci-fi and fantasy. There's so much there. Uh, I just like, it. it's it's when you think about, you know, like, like oh man, I'd love to open a bookstore. It's like, that's the bookstore. It's just all kinds of stuff. I go in, a really great selection, all kinds of stuff that I'm actually familiar with. Instead of like, I'm like, I don't recognize any of this stuff sometimes when I go into a regular bookstore. All kinds of stuff. Sci-fi, fantasy, trad pub, self pub. All kinds of stuff there. They've got signed stuff as well. And so it was really cool. Uh, I took some video there. I did a little bit of talking with Kevin. Uh, so let's first, we'll, we'll take the, the little clip show and then uh, we'll, we'll move to the talking with Kevin. And then I'll show you uh, what I purchased. Silverstone's books here today in Plattsmouth? Plattsmouth? Plattsmouth. Is it Plattsmouth? Okay, I was yeah. right the first time. Now, <laughs> doubt, doubting myself, but uh, <laughs> you're with Kevin, the owner of Silverstone's books, which you might know from seeing the, the active web store and Twitter presence that has this beautiful uh, store that we're sitting in today. I'm so excited to come here. I was just telling you, I feel like this is just like my the, like my happy place. There's I walk in, it's just like all the books I know, lots of self pub stuff, just sci-fi fantasy everything is super cool so all our let, friends yeah there's so much great stuff here so well i'll let you introduce yourself talk about the store a little bit sure uh, like nico said my name's Kevin. um i opened silverstone's books as an online store in march of 2022 and we just opened the storefront um november 7th of this month um so get in early <laughs> or late <laughs> considering how close it is to the holidays um it's been pretty fun yeah, pretty quiet lately, though. <laughs> you, get, you, get the, you get the holiday rush. Yeah. But I was going to say, yeah, and, I, and you did some pop-ups, I know, before. I did. The, uh, the physical location. That's where I'm like, I had to get down here. It's a couple hours. It's not, it's not super crazy far, but um, it's it's nice to get out here. So, yeah. What made you want to do just specifically the sci-fi fantasy kind of specialty store? Um, that's what I read, so I'm most familiar with that. More comfortable recommending books like that to people. Yeah, I can get that too because I feel like this is the exact store that I would open <laughs> if I was going to open a bookstore with like this kind of selection. Uh, it's just there's so much great stuff here uh, uh, with it as well, so it's great. And uh, like with the with having so many self pub options and that kind of stuff, like how did that come about? Did you just approach people or like how does that kind of work? Like, um, the community approached me. Um, so originally when I was opening the store, I was not intending on stocking self pubs. Um, and then my first customer was like, hey, do you have these self pubs? I was like, I'll get them if you'll buy them. <laughs> so I did. And then that's just what everybody kept buying from me. So I just kept stocking them. And it just kind of grew from there. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's really cool just because it's, you, you can occasionally, I guess, see some self pub stuff in person. But there's so much, too. And, like, you know, a, a lot of the great books and everything, too. Like, you know, you've got some behind, too, that you wouldn't even know that they were self pub right. if you don't know. And so... It, it is and I cool. don't label them either, so like people that come off the street, they wouldn't even know. Yeah, and so it's, it's really cool though, just because that was where, like that was kind of my go-to, I'm like, oh, self pub will probably have it at Silverstone, right. so I took a look online and, uh, and in person too, so 
Uh, some great stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time here. So <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much for uh, being willing to uh, sit down with me and talk about it. But yeah, definitely check out Silverstones. I have a link out to the website uh, where you can find all kinds more stuff about the web store or physical location. Definitely recommend checking it out. It was a real struggle for me not to buy so many books that I had to remortgage my house. So uh, <laughs> definitely check it out. It is great. And, uh, and that's, that's all I think for now. So, so uh, it's time to tell you what I purchased because let me tell you, it was really difficult because I wanted like half the stuff in the store. There were so many things where books are a lot. I had like eBooks already of books I've heard of books. I was just really interested in and it was just so hard to choose. So, um, I did, I had to grab because I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these had a uh, Starbinder by Mark Timoney. This is the prequel and it does have the, the signed book plate. Oh, I just dropped off all of the little bookmarks uh, that came with it as well. But um, I originally got my copy of uh, Blood of the Spear also with the book plate uh, from Silverstones. It was the first thing I ever got from them. And then have this, and this is also similar to that super high quality dust jacket and the, the really cool naked hardcover. I'm really excited to get this and put it on the shelf out there next to it. I absolutely, absolutely loved this novella. It was so good. I really, really loved it. So I was excited to add that to my collection. And from there, I just, I could not decide. So ended up uh, having my wife who was kind of looking around. She's not really a big uh, sci-fi fantasy reader, uh, but she was looking around trying to see what's fun interesting. And so she picked out uh, Carved Amidst the Shadows by M.T. Fontaine. It's a brand of Tail Gear novel. I don't know this one. I had not heard of it, uh, but it does sound interesting. Um, so it says, to be marked means to be loyal and protected. To be a carved is to be the vilest of traitors. Uh, it says, born branded as a marked, Cayenne trusts the system. When her brother is born brandless, her misconceptions come crashing down. Now an orphan and with only one uneasy ally, she turns to the carved. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. But uh, sound kind of interesting. I briefly looked up Goodreads. It looks like pretty good reviews, but I, I didn't really find anything else about it because I didn't have time. Uh, I was too busy. I was distracted by all of the books. And then we were chatting about books. And so, uh, yeah, it worked out to, to have her pick one out. So I'll definitely be uh, interested to try that one out uh, as well. That's really it, though. It was a lot of fun. I definitely recommend that you check out Silverstone's books. Uh, you can check out the Brick and Mortar if you're within driving distance, and they also have a ton of stuff on their website, and I'll have that linked in the description where you can find all kinds of great stuff and everything you can find uh, there they've, they've got online as well. So it was really great being able to go there in person uh, and uh, just like a, a bookstore that I've gotten stuff online from, interacted with online, and, and go there. ton of fun. Uh, and yeah, definitely check their stuff out. Can't recommend it enough. Great store, nice selection, uh, and great people. So check it out. That's it for this one, though. Make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Check the link in the description, as always, for the Wizardly Enclave Discord if you want to chat books, whether these books, other books, really anything at all. It's a lot of fun. We'd love to have you. And of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.